Hello and welcome to another video from Double Rail. Uh, this is a quick video to show you the new Hornby um, Eastern Region uh, Mach 3 Intercity Coaches. Uh, these are R4634, R4634A, B, and C. Uh, there's a four of them in total and they're lighted and uh, they're fantastic. Um, their running numbers are E42123, 42124, 42125, and 42126. Um, all of them are in uh, fantastic uh, condition. Um, I did have a problem with one of them. There's a tiny little mark on the uh, kind of smoked glazing and there's a little bit of light kind of bleeding through the top, but it's only on one side, so it's uh, something I can live with and I can always fix it if I need to. Um, one of the things that you will have to do um, with this particular uh, set of coaches is, is that they come with the um, buffers uh, attached and of course the HSTs, uh, those uh, Mach 3 coaches never had the, the buffers attached. So um, it's pretty easy to take those off, you just basically grasp the uh, buffer with your two fingers and wiggle it back and forth, back and forth, pulling it further away. Um, it takes a little bit of effort. Some of them were loose, some of them were pretty tight. Um, but I was able to get them all out without any um, major incidents. Um, so as you can see here, um, so far we've got the uh, four uh, trailer seconds, which are these um, TS coaches. Um, and they're, they're very, very nice. As you can see, they're lighted. Uh, even though they're a little bit darker than the um, previous um, So here, yep, we have the original Western Region uh, Mach 3s. If I put them side by side, you can see that they're uh, definitely a lot lighter than the uh, new Eastern Region that are lighted. And as Dave Class 47 pointed out, um, I think the reason for that is the fact that when these are lighted, they actually look about as clear as the uh, Western Region ones without the lighting. So obviously Hornby knew what they were doing. Uh, with this kind of smoke effect, it just happened to be a, a improved the uh, thing with the lighting on. And of course, as you can see there, even at like 20% power, the light comes on pretty pretty well. Um, the only other issue I ran into these coaches was that, as you can probably hear, there's a bit of a squeak. Um, it looks like uh, a set of the pickups on one of the coaches is uh, kind of touching the wheel at the wrong angle. So um, I'll have to mess with that and try to get it to... Uh, not squeal as much as it does, um, but uh, other than that, they're they're fantastic. So uh, we'll leave you with uh, a couple of shots of the thing going around the dark, as well as the thing going around uh, in the kind of with the lights on, so you can see, uh, you know, the the kind of cool effect. Uh, the camera's picking it up pretty well, especially with the uh, lighting in the background here, Chippenham Junction. It kind of uh, gives the camera something to focus on. Um, but um, we're going to be doing this over the next uh, couple of weeks and months, so um, right now this is running with the uh, Hornby R2701 uh, Western Region um, HSC power cars um, that were out from a couple of years ago. Um, so it'll give you a, a kind of an idea of what it'll look like when at the end. Uh, one thing I'm quite happy with is the interior coach lighting seems to match the... Uh, Hornby power car uh, cab lighting, so that's always always good. It looks uh, like it's all um, seamlessly tied together. Um, so yeah, so as soon as um, we get more coaches in, I'll add them to the rake and uh, show you the thing running on the layout. And hopefully by uh, December, we'll have the full rake of coaches and the Eastern Region power cars, and we'll give a full review when it's done. So, uh, hope you enjoy the rest of the video, and until next time.